What's going on everybody? We have some Kickstarter updates that I want to share with you guys. We have one from Interrupt. I want to talk a little bit about the M1 today. And well, but first off, let's go ahead and talk about the new latest and greatest update for the Interrupt. And I'm not going to read the full update. I'm just going to summarize this for you, give you the key points. I'm going to leave a link in the description with the full update. Project update summary, timeline adjustment. The original goal to ship in November has been delayed due to the complexities of moving from a prototype to a full production ready product. The team realized the initial schedule was too optimistic, encountering some unexpected delays and design challenges. Despite this, progress continues and the engineering and design phases of the pre-production board should finish within the next few weeks. Update milestones. PCB layout completed. Pre-production boards ordered early November. Received pre-production boards early to mid-December. Testing. Board and firmware. December to January. Manufacturing begins late January to early February, if testing goes smoothly. Development highlights display development. Original prototype design had poor driver support for new Linux versions, updated to a higher quality display for better performance and user experience. Minor hardware adjustments are needed for pin layout. PCB and electronics, schematics 90% complete as of October 23rd. RF antenna module selected for 315 megahertz and 433, 868, and 915 megahertz bands. Power system finalized with USB-C charging. Fuel gauge and MCU-based sequencing, including 3.3 volt cutoff for battery longevity. Mechanical and enclosure development. Coordinating between mechanical and electrical teams continues to align mounting holes and component footprints. Finally, we have firmware and features. Firmware testing ongoing with development boards. Production ready firmware testing to start once pre-production boards arrive in early to mid-December. And that's pretty much it. So they give you a little bit of a time frame of what you can expect. They're updating everybody, letting them know what happened and that the original time frame was very optimistic. I think it's good that they're being a little bit transparent about that. The original time frame was definitely optimistic and I think that's the reason why a lot of people thought it was a scam because of the fact that they were so optimistic. It didn't seem right at all. But I think that we're seeing the truth come out a little bit more. Um, I'm still a little frustrated that we didn't get more information, especially that there's been a little bit of a gap since we had last had an interview and I thought there would be a little bit more better when it came to updating us, but I mean, it's something. We, at least we got a time frame now and again, I would love to see actual images of this device. Again, I'm going to leave the full update in the description. Now it's time to move on to the M1. For people that don't know, I made contact with the M1 team recently and they're giving me updates and they're talking to me behind the scenes. So here's what they had to say. So I took the M1 updates and I condensed them into a summary. Again, I'll leave all this stuff in the description as well. Production progress. The M1 has officially transitioned from pilot to full scale production. The assembly line went live on September 26, 2025 and has been running continuously and effectively since then. Teams are now fully trained in using standardized fixtures, inline testing systems, and polishing stations that will remain in place for scaled manufacturing. By mid-October, the first production units passed all quality checks and boxed inventory started stacking up ready for shipping. Quality and testing. Every M1 device undergoes comprehensive inline testing before packaging. This includes checks for display, buttons, and LED functionality core functions, NFC, RFID, sub gigahertz, IR, battery charge, discharge cycle, sleeping and wake transitions. Any unit that shows borderline results is immediately pulled aside for correction without slowing production. Shipping waves and timeline. Shipping is happening in multiple region waves to ensure smooth customs and freight conditions. Wave one, 3000 units shipping late October into early November. Wave 2, follow shortly after. Wave 3, plan for early to mid-December. First deliveries are expected by mid-November, with fulfillment continuing through December until all backers receive their devices. Shipments will go out in pledge order, and tracking details will be emailed once labels are created. Shipping cost, a shipping notice has been issued through the pledge manager. Costs are capped between $10 to $35 per unit, depending on location. U.S. $15 per unit, Canada $20 per unit, Western and Central Europe and Eastern Europe, South Asia around $32 to $40. Actual country rates covered partially by the company to stay within cap. Discounts applied for orders with multiple units. Now that their factory is set up, now let's talk about the next steps. Maintaining steady production output 
building boxed inventory for waves one and two, coordinating freight and custom logistics. The M1 team reports that the production line is running smoothly and on schedule for strong quality and control and full transparency on cost and timelines. So let me know what you guys think about this. I know that a lot of this information is held back that the, you would need to be a backer to get a lot of this stuff, but luckily they're giving me this information to share with you guys. Uh, if you missed this opportunity to buy this device because you thought it was a scam like myself, there's going to be probably a time afterwards where you'll be able to purchase this. And I'll give you guys an update about that as well. All right. And I also got another Kickstarter update. This is for High Boy. Just got done talking to the founder. I figured I would reach out to him before I ended up finalizing this video. And he ended up giving me some new information that I could share with you. One is to talk about that they were planning on starting the kickstarter sooner like i think believe, i believe today was actually supposed to be the initial launch date but it got rejected from kickstarter so currently they have resubmitted it and they're in the process for review so more than likely you're going to see a kickstarter launch sometime in november and that's coming from the founder himself he was also talking about um, depending on how much money they raise you look forward to things like adding laura boards and five gigahertz capabilities and things like that so just something to keep an eye out for with high boy if you haven't seen the video dedicated to me walking through it Go ahead and check that out. I'll leave that link in the description as well. All right, and that's it for this video podcast. I'll be posting this to Spotify as well. Let me know what you guys think about this format. I got a lot of good feedback from the last time I did this type of update video, keeping everybody in the loop of gadgets and things that are going on. This is this is more dedicated toward Kickstarters and just giving you everything that I got up front all in one video slash podcast i'm going to continue to work hard to get this insider information for you guys Again, if you like that leave a like subscribe and uh, leave a comment I'd like to see what your thoughts are about all this stuff do you like the interrupt update um, what do you think about the high boy what do you think about the m1 let me know what you guys think if you want to support the channel and everything i do consider being a channel member as well as maybe using one of my affiliate links all of this helps fund the channel and for me to keep doing what i'm doing so i really do appreciate all of you and do me a favor and remember Safety is an illusion.